any any stories in sense of uh, or what do you think about the the entrepreneurial community in Hampton Roads? Uh, are, have you found a lot of help or have you seen more help outside of this area? I mean, what's, what's your thought in general? Well, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story about the asking thing, just because I think these help people remember, right? If they have like a story concrete. So my grandfather loved always when we go out to Italian restaurant eating a uh, bolognese pasta, like mm -hmm. so spaghetti and like meat sauce is what it really mm -hmm. is, right? And we'd go to different restaurants. We try like try to go to a different one every week. And often they wouldn't have it on the menu. And my grandfather would be like, I'm going to have my grandmother be like, what are you going to have? She'd always try something new and he'd be happy. And tell me you have that all the time. I'm going to get anyway. And I'm like, grandpa, it's not on the menu. Don't worry. I'm just going to ask. I'm telling you, nobody ever said no to him to be like, oh, yeah, let me ask the chef. And they come back. Yep, we can make it for you. Like he showed me like he would do it all the time and he would ask. And it would. And, and I've, I've done that before this business and little things with like people like out like being with friends out in the community or showing them like, well, let me try this. Let me show you how this works. And it's, it's amazing. But it, again, like if you see it and happen, then you'd be like, wow, things that you literally think aren't possible. It's a small thing. Right. But that's like all it takes. Even um, just bolognese sauce. I mean, right. I mean, if you want right. an action to happen, you have to create that action. Yeah, just so, exactly. Um, yeah. So there's been a lot of talks that I've gone to from Boston. It's probably the region that I have the most involvement with. Um, and I, I'll go to a talk too. And I've reached out to some of the speakers before and I've been like blown away of these like huge companies, CEOs and founders that will be happy to set up a call with me. That's like a, kind of like a ripple out from this. Um, but I've pretty much being from Northern New Jersey too, I'd say uh, my team is remote distributed. Uh, probably 80% of our team is in New York or New Jersey. Um, aside from the management team, which I kind of like that kind of happened naturally, the rest of it's just been kind of by accident. Um, so whatever that means. But um, I found that Boston really does have a huge startup community. I mean, New York City should. I, I grew up 20 minutes outside of there, but it's not even as large as Boston. So I have to say I source pretty much 99 percent of my support from Boston. Boston beats New York again. Bam. <laughs> I mean, I just have so, to tell it like it is, you know, I'm going to go where, where the support is. So. Sure. Sure. So, so what do you think about this area then? What, what have you learned here? Um, you so I, I like that I can look at my window and see the water. Um, I do have a little bit of a question as to like how the whole beach life, salt life I'm driving around and I see people on people's cars, how that is like juxtaposed with the grind of um, a startup. I grew up um, at working with a lot of people, like when I was working at the hospitals in New Jersey and stuff, We and so many of us worked mul multiple jobs. Um, I'm used to working like 68 or 80 hours a week ever since I got out of school, doesn't really phase me. Here, there's more like a slowdown, like, you know, hang hang out. When I, when I first got here, I remember a couple of times I was in the grocery store waiting in line, and I'd found, found that this happened like a lot, more than once, that the the person would be done checking out and then they would stand and talk with the, the person who was working at there. And, but then like would not proceed to check me out, even though there was room on the, uh, the, the conveyor belt. Um, and to me, I'm like, you can talk all you want, but can you check me out? And people would get so mad at me for even raising that. They're like, don't you want to just relax? I was like, yeah, but not in the middle of a grocery store. <laughs> like if I'm working 80 hours a week and I have like, you know, these little breaks, I want to be out on the beach or doing something relaxing. Um, I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not for basis, but I, I do question like how much can we bring those two things together? I think with remote work now, we have a chance of building up some stuff. Um, but I think we're always going to have to have some like legs or ties in some of the bigger cities or start pulling more people down from the cities who understand like that idea of grinding. Um, and, and I know I'm probably like going to get slaughtered for saying some of this stuff. But again, it's just my perspective. I've been here for eight years. I guess, guess that's a long time. I mean, but if it, you get if you get slaughtered for telling the truth, I don't know why. I mean, yeah. if but you look at the perspective, it's not it's it's not that it's right. It's just my, my perspective. No, I but I think from someone from the outside. But I, you know, again, I have only experienced so many things in my life, so I can't say it's a slower era. And if you look at the, you know, the big three industries, military, tourism, ports, in my opinion, those are basically three industries that 
what is it? 90% of the economy comes from that, if not more. And those are all basically given economies. If you really are right. We just so happen to have the deepest port. We don't have to do it. We're not the most efficient and the most amazing port in the world, you, you know, but it just so happens that we have this asset. The uh, same thing with Virginia beach, same thing with the, the military. And so um, that's not a dig. That's just saying like, yo, like these type of things, there isn't that entrepreneurial hustle, that grind that you're saying, Jennifer, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, it, it, those industries don't need it because that business just comes. So why should someone have to go, you know, and do that extra work if it's, if they can just figure it out, I guess. Right. Yeah. And I mean, it's amazing. I mean, Boston, the Valley, any place or even New York city, you go there and you just immediately feel the hustle and the sense of urgency. And then and, and it's like, we've got to get this done. We've got to get this done. And then you come back to Virginia and it's just like, ah, oh, another lazy day. I'll take my time. I'll just do it. So, yeah. I mean, and that's something that Zach and I've been, uh, trying but all to three do. of us also were not from here is what I think right. I'm hearing. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's interesting. Right. I'm from, I'm from DC. Tim's from okay. Buffalo and Jennifer, you're from, upstate uh, in new jersey is that what you said new jersey yeah, 20 yeah. Minutes out of new york city yeah so i mean we all come from maybe not i mean well buffalo is a fairly large city mid city i guess you know i'm from we're all from areas that are bigger than here i would say and so we've all seen things differently and so it's it's interesting like even when i go home you know people are like oh you know there's a lot of construction going on in in here in in virginia beach and i'm like that's interesting. Like I go home to Northern Virginia and their back road is like our highways here. <laughs> and, and, and like, and like, that's like a real thing. Like I literally was on an hour long back road a few weeks ago. I went home and it was like, uh, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Like this, this is 64, but it's a back road. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But we live here and obviously we wanted to, you know, thrive and, and, and do well. And, um, you know, I, I think a little bit of motivation uh, can can help push mm -hmm. push push the area. So hopefully, it'll it'll continue to grow. Mm 